What's up everybody, Josh from Haptic Intel coming at you live from Haptic HQ and today we're going to be doing something much different than we normally do on the channel. Today we're actually going to be tinkering and getting our hands dirty and doing some restoration work on a PlayStation 1 console. Those of you that have been watching the channel know a couple weeks ago that I got my hands on a PlayStation 1 console and today is finally the day that we open it up and make sure everything works, okay? Before we do that, obviously I'm not set up for that here, for tinkering here. So to do that, we need to go to the workshop, all right? HBOT, take me to the workshop. So as you can see, we are now inside of the workshop. Now, I think HBOT did a great job, right, with everything. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. Uh, but, you know, she misinterpreted a little bit. You know, we, Brett and I told her, you know, convert the garage into a workshop. She misinterpreted it as convert the garage into a workshop for cars. Obviously, we're not a car channel. We're a video game channel. I am very sorry. HBOT. It's all right. It's okay. We're going to work with what we got. Okay. So like I mentioned at the top of the video today, we're going to be working on the PS one. Okay. Opening it up, cleaning everything, making sure it works. Okay. Things like that. So, and again, I mentioned, you know, I brought it up on the podcast a couple weeks ago. So here it is. All right. Now it's going to be a little hard to see. Okay. Because of the lighting, but I'm going to do some cut in shots with it um, and show you all kind of what's going on shortly. Okay. Um, so this is, we got the PS one, all right, we have, we do have controllers. Okay. Which I'm not super concerned about. And obviously we don't have anything inside haptic HQ that has VGA cables anymore. Okay. And I didn't want to just buy a VGA adapter. So what I did is I actually bought this, um, level hike, uh, PS one, PS two HDMI adapter. Okay which again, might be a little hard to see because of the lighting, um, but I'll do some cut and shots. And inside of it, it's really simple. It just comes with an HDMI cable, comes with a little dongle, okay? And then a USB port to plug in, okay? So you will need USB power. Now, I, everything I'm using today, I will link in the description, okay? So we got the cable, we got the console, all right? We got the power, all right? We got the controllers. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's make sure it works first. So let's start it up.
All right, everybody. Well, I think that went about as well as expected. You know, it was in really, really good shape. And besides that minor um, tray issue um, and some of the other stuff we came across, I mean, overall, it was it was really, really good shape. Uh, it runs well, it works well, just needed some minor cleaning. Um, and here we are. So this is, again, this wasn't meant to be like a how to tear down video or anything like that. This is more so just us kind of exploring it together and tinkering and getting our hands dirty. Um, so I will link everything I use today in the description, including the uh, adapter cable, okay, including my screwdriver set. Um, I'll link all that in the description. And if you all liked this, please let us know in the comments, right? This is something that we don't typically do. Um, but you know, if you enjoyed it, please leave us a like, you know, go into the comment section below, tell us your thoughts. Um, I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes. But you know, again, this is one of the first times that I was kind of doing it. Um, hit that notification bell and then share it with your friends. You know, we're really, we really, um, Hope that we could do more stuff like this because we're interested in it and we hope that you are too so please let us know um so that's it that'll do it for us for today thank you all for tuning in thank you hbot for all your help you're welcome until the next video bye bye thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe josh and brett really need you too i love them so do it it would be a shame if you missed more of their videos. Hit the notification bell too, so you know when there is a new upload.